fast on that. No, I can't. <laughs> this one's Melba right here yeah. in this picture. That's her. Oh, that's her back here? Okay, yeah, I that's Melba. Her. I couldn't tell which one it was. This yeah, one's you're right. Her. That's her. Th okay. That's her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is my father. That's my father, Thomas. And did you do the clothes, Melba? Did you have to do the clothes? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd rung that many times with the clothes. Yeah? Can you imagine that? Did it, did it get them clean? <laughs> did it get them clean? <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. What, you, what, you use soap? Yeah. When, when we could find some. When you could find it, yeah. <laughs> and didn't you have a tree house you used to stay in? It did was. You, didn't you used to sleep in a tree house? In here in the no, summer. In the summer out in the trees. Oh, All you kids slept yeah. in the trees in the summer. <laughs> didn't you? That's what I would do. Yeah, they didn't sleep in here. They how would it? They Yeah. There was no to way. Was too crowded and too cramped in here. So they slept out in the trees. But uh is that old and is that that's what your Imagine mama used to cook on? Yeah. That's the original one. Imagine me taking a bath in that same tub. Gosh. Oh my and that's, that's, oh, yeah. that's, sure. where, that's where Frank and uh, yeah. that's your papa's bedroom. That's papa's bed. Right? That's papa's bedroom back there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did this place leak? Yeah, what? Did it leak? Oh God, yeah. We'd have to put pans and buckets all over to catch the water as it leaked through the roof. <laughs> Did you? Gosh. And those are all like utensils that horse yeah. used. I you sure remember all of those. Yeah, I bet you do. What year did you live here? What years did you live here? What year was this built? Did you live here? Oh, God, I don't Back remember. Back in the 20s, huh? Long time. Well, Back was in the 20s. Born in 1916 in the other cabin, and then they moved here. Because there were so many rattlesnakes up there, and it, it was just not a very nice place. They didn't like it. They moved down here, and they lay, stayed here for a long time. Can't, can't hear you. You stayed here for a long time, didn't you? Between oh, here and the yeah, I lived cabin. here for a long time, yeah. When did Papa finally move? What? what? When did Papa finally move out of here? W when did he build it? No, move. When oh, did... how old was I? No, when did Papa move? And leave when here? he moved? From, from where? From here. He moved from Los Angeles up here. No, from here. When did he leave here to go live oh. up in, in Ravenhill? I don't remember. It took it to go where now? Up it in, was in the 50s. Up in Ravenhill Road. It was in the late up 50s the other that he sold the house on in the 50s. Up in Ravenhill Road. He lived up on Ravenhill Road. I, I still don't understand. It's real hard. What did he say? Well, it's too hard for her because there was a split in the family and she wasn't... She was like on the out for a while. She, this woman over here, Josephine, she took care of Aunt Josephine for a long time while she was dying. And when she died, and she got, got her estate. Family. She gave and her a lot of money. That. And then all the brothers got mad and disowned her because they wanted her to give them all splits of the money. She said, well, no, I'm not going to do that. But she offered to give them some money each. She wanted to give them some money. So she gave money to each of them said, here, I'll give you a certain amount out of the goodness of my heart. They said, no, we don't want that. We want to split Imagine it even down the line. And so from then on, so they wouldn't even no, talk I to can't. her. No, I can't. They would yeah. not even talk to her. They would not have nothing to do with Aunt Melba. Isn't that something? This sweet little old lady. And when her father died, she was written out of his estate. She didn't get a thing out of his estate. All, all, her, all the sons did. And we don't think that was right but her, at all. But her husband was Walt Fisher. And he was he's part uh, of the Valencia Bank. He's part of the. He was on the board of directors She's for well the Valencia off. Bank, and he had a big uh, cattle ranch. And his son Walt uh, Fisher up in uh, Bakersfield has a, a ranch up there too. And so he's in the cattle business. And so she ended up being okay. You know, I mean, she was well taken care of. By, she's very uh, by her second husband. Her husband was a businessman, and he couldn't read. Can you believe he was yeah. a he big died shot in, his in the 90s. Valencia Bank, and he couldn't even and he read? Couldn't yeah. Read. Yeah, yeah we didn't enough. know that. We we were sitting there, right? What was it? I was watching here? television one day, and I said, "Here, Walt, let me turn on the uh, closed captions," because he couldn't hear. And I turned on the closed caption. And he says, "Oh, it won't do no good." I said, "Well, why?" And he said, "I can't read." 
It was just like out of the blue. This man who was like multimillionaire, rich. I mean, couldn't, couldn't read. read. <laughs> oh, wow. oh my goodness! It really shook me. But, but she, she had, reads. She has two children by Walt Fisher. Um, Walt and Gay Rose, and then she has two children by her first husband, uh, Bud Starbucks. She has George and Gail. Mm -hmm. So, and those kids are all living. Mm -hmm. And then she's got great grandkids all over the place, and then great great grandkids. And she still lives alone. And she still lives alone. Yeah. She has a caretaker, but she lives alone. Yeah, she's at, alone at night. We come down and we take care. She she was just in the restaurant, and she says she says. Oh, all these old codgers. She says, I don't know what I'd do with them. They try to pick me up on the on the boulevard, but I don't want nothing to do with them. They're just after what's in my pocket. <laughs> so, <laughs> she is so funny. Everybody in the restaurant started laughing. Yeah. Oh, my God. She was talking real loud. But they really, really had quite a life here. It was a tough life. It was really, really hard. It's an old country it's real family. Hard. They're not rich. They weren't rich. They just had a lot of land. And, they homestead. And, and old Frank, he tried to prospect up there, but he didn't get beans for money. He, he found hardly any gold. Hardly any. I want to get some pictures of Aunt Melvin outside okay. the cabin, right, too. Sure. We're here with Melva Walker, who um, lived in this original cabin. She's 94 years old, still lives on her own in um, the Santa Clarita area, actually, Palmdale.